here we are again with uh, Geoponics TV. Um, today we have a special guest, uh, Mr. John Logenstein. Uh, John, uh, how you doing this morning? I'm doing well. How you doing, Robin? I, I'm doing fantastic. I guess I should say buenos dias. Buenos dias, señor. <laughs> Well, John, I'll tell you what, let's start out. If you could tell me uh, a little bit about what you do as a golf course or, excuse me, as director of agronomy. Uh, and I believe, let's see, you're in with the Montgomery County Rev Revenue Authority just outside of Washington, D.C., correct? Yes, that's true. The Montgomery County Revenue Authority uh, owns and or operates uh nine golf courses uh, just outside of Washington here in Montgomery County, Maryland. Uh, I'm the director of agronomy for the nine courses, so I oversee the superintendent uh, at eight courses, and I also have superintendent responsibility at one of the courses. Um, Falls Road uh, underwent a renovation uh, eight years ago where some of the greens were rebuilt. Um, so I've, I'm managing 13 uh, push-up greens uh, from their 50 years old. Uh, they're nice bed poa greens, nice perennial poa. And um, when I can control the water, they are a joy to manage uh, because they hold on to the nutrition. The putting surface is nice. Uh, and then the, the other greens that we manage, the, the USGA spec greens, uh, there's seven of those that I manage. Uh, and actually two of them are 90, I'm sorry, two of them are 80-20 mix, and five of them are a 90-10 mix, just built at different times, different companies. Um, and uh, so really on three different management programs for the greens. Um, the biggest problem we face with our greens is just it is water movement. Um, the sand greens perform much better, obviously, although we still have some challenges in the, the where the smiley greens are in the fronts of the greens where we, you know, we get a little, it holds on to the moisture, get a little black layer down there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I kind of got turned on to the geoponics products. I came across you guys on Facebook, and um, I said, you know what? I started reading some stuff on the website, and I said, I, you know, I want to try this because I've used a lot of different wedding agents over the years, and I just really haven't been totally satisfied with any of them uh, on a consistent basis. You know, they'll be fine maybe in the spring, and, you know, I just don't find that they're um, successful for me. Uh, we sprayed the Pantera and, and watered it for six minutes, uh, and we did it to actually the half the green so we could look at the other half and how it, how it kind of, what the results were. But immediately after six minutes of water on that green, I went out on the green and I felt the surface and it was almost dry to the touch. And from that point, I was like, wow, this is something I've never seen with a wedding agent before. <laughs> um, and it, it's pretty neat how it just, just pulled it off the surface so quickly. And this is, this is probably within like 10 or 15 seconds of the water turning off. You know what we That's call what it? Was, you know what we call it, John? We call it the that? rain drain. <laughs> so, I mean, that was, that was pretty cool. I was like, so that was very intriguing to me. Right. I noticed, um, we applied uh, our first application of Pantera on May 12th. And then um, the second application with the Agriox on May 17th, and we saw right away how much more quickly the water was moving through the profile. Yeah. And, yeah, just, and then uh, we kind of got we got into a little dry stretch. So I was like, you know what? I'm I'm not sold on it yet, right? Because you know, okay, it's dry. My greens are performing much better. And we get into June, get some big heavy rains, um, and then it dried out again. And it, and I think just just recently. Um, now here at the beginning of July, where we're already, um, at, you know, what is this day, 13 of the month, and we're already at our monthly average. So we're above average for rainfall this month, a couple of huge rainstorms, and um, these greens are draining excellent. That's awesome. I'm just, yeah, I'm just happy to see how quickly the water's moving. As far as uh, nutrition, we typically run about a tenth of a pound a week of uh, urea mm -hmm. uh, in combination uh, with 10 ounces per acre of Primo. And we maintain uh, traditionally pretty consistent yield off the greens, looking for about a half buck a green. And um, I, uh, after we started using the, uh, the Agriox, we, I, it was hard to get those things to slow down. I mean, and so I had to, I had to cut back on the urea um, to more like a .05 um, or, or just doing it every two weeks instead of every one week. Um, 
and uh, there's definitely some. So, well, I mean, yeah. you, Wait, go ahead, John. There's something interesting with, with, I'm sorry, with the Angry Act, too. Um, and what I didn't necessarily expect is, you know, we, we've been using it on um, some of our sand based greens, like in the smile drain areas, and I've got one of them, uh, one of the sand based greens, uh, the, the drainage was not installed in an ideal fashion, so the front of that green tends to hold on the water. Um, so we've been spraying it up there too, but we saw a similar increase in clipping yield on the sand based greens uh, from the agriox as well as uh, on the push ups. Right. Another question, John. You know, when you had the, you know, you mentioned some black layer. Have are you still having some challenges with that, or how did that how did that work out? Oh no, actually, yeah. What I meant to say that we uh, the black layers, um, it's not there. <laughs> uh, the few greens where we saw it, um, it, it, it after using after a couple applications of the agriox, it, it was going pretty quick, and we've seen little tiny little spots here and there, um, but you know over ninety percent of it is is done for. And um, yeah, we continue to we've we started out at with the Pantera sixty four ounces per acre mm. and twenty twenty pounds per acre of the Agriox, and now we're uh, we've cut back on the Agriox and now we're about ten pounds per acre yeah. um, on these areas. And um, we actually switched from Pantera to Hydrohawk on the sand based greens um, because the water is moving so quickly through the sand greens. Right, Hydrohawk has, has a little better holding uh, potential up on the top there. Right. Now you you have another club up there that just started on this as well, didn't you? Yeah, actually, <laughs> this is actually a, even a more dramatic result over it here at the Laytonsville Golf Course. Uh, Superintendent Dylan Evans was talking to me about uh, one of his problem greens. He uh, his greens overall performed pretty well. He's got one in particular just has severe um, drainage issues. It's another old push up green, uh, heavy clay soil, kind of pushed up out of a swampy wet. You know, mucky soil, so it's really not ideal growing conditions. And um, he applied uh, the Pantera on uh, week one, and you know he got some rain and stuff. He's like, John, I don't know, this stuff is it's not moving the water like you said it would. <laughs> and he came out week two and made another application with the Agriox. I was like, Galen, yeah, just just give it a shot here. And um, he said it was unbelievable the difference after that second application. And his black layer, he applied it in the morning. Uh, by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, he could not find any black layer on that green. I think your situation is quite remarkable, and and I'm, I'm really glad. I, I'd really like to keep up with how that all, um, you know, kind of works itself out with uh, that new area that he had uh, applied it to. Well, John, listen, I certainly appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. Uh, you know, it's always a pleasure to speak with you and, uh, um, we will be following up with you maybe towards the latter part of, uh, the season and, uh, kind of, uh, see where we've gone from there. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Hey, Robin, it's always good to talk to you, man. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. De verdad. Con mucho gusto, señor. Tengo un buen día. Okay. Igualmente. All right. Adios, man. Bye.